Interstellar space remains one of the final frontiers of space exploration. To date, only Voyager 1 and 2 have ventured beyond the borders of our solar system into this vast unknown. Voyager 1, in particular, encountered over 300 unknown objects in the Great Void, leaving scientists both alarmed and intrigued. What are these mysterious objects, and why do they pose such a significant threat? Stay with us as we dive into this remarkable discovery and prepare for a journey far beyond the boundaries of the known universe. Join us as Voyager 1 announces its stunning discovery of 300 unknown objects in space. Voyager 1 discovers plasma in interstellar space. Billions of miles from Earth, NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft has marked a milestone in space exploration. In 2012, it became the first spacecraft in history to reach interstellar space. When Voyager 1 and its twin probe, Voyager 2, were launched in 1977, scientists never anticipated this achievement. Their mission was expected to last only a few years, yet they have been traveling through the cosmos for over 45 years. Last year, something extraordinary occurred. Voyager 1, after spending a decade beyond the heliopause, detected a stream of particles in a region where none should exist. More than 300 unknown particles were measured, leaving scientists baffled. In interstellar space, particle density is expected to drop dramatically, making this discovery both shocking and intriguing. This unexpected bombardment led to speculation about the potential discovery of a new fundamental force, one that could alter our understanding of the universe. To grasp the importance of this discovery, we must first understand interstellar space in relation to our solar system. The heliosphere, our protective bubble, extends far beyond the planets, with solar winds forming a spherical barrier around the sun and its planets. Without this force field, the sun's plasma streams, which provide heat and energy, would not exist, and life as we know it would be impossible. However, particle streams can also pose threats. Violent solar winds have the potential to disrupt or even disable our electromagnetic networks, causing power and communication failures. Yet, in a cosmic context, the sun's plasma flows are more protective than harmful. From interstellar space, we face greater threats, such as radiation and magnetic fields. These forces, remnants from the early universe, are still present in the space between stars, interacting with other celestial bodies and forces. At the edge of our solar system, where interstellar forces collide with those of the Sun, the discovery of these unknown particles is both surprising and possibly dangerous. While it's unlikely the heliosphere will fail us, our understanding of the processes occurring far from Earth is still limited, leaving open the possibility of unforeseen threats. First Samples of Electrically Charged Plasma Voyager 1 and 2's exploration of the plasma-filling interstellar space marked a significant milestone in astronomy. The fact that both probes reached the heliosphere's boundary at different times and locations allowed scientists to gather valuable comparative data. Their measurements showed many similarities, particularly in particle density, but also raised new questions about how the sun moves through the galaxy. Solar winds and interstellar matter do not mix like oil and water. At the edge of the heliosphere, the heliopause, interstellar space begins. Data from this boundary provide insights into how the sun moves through the galaxy and the changes we might expect as a result. When Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space on August 25, 2012, the results were astonishing. The interstellar magnetic field was two to three times stronger than predicted, meaning the interstellar particles exert up to ten times more pressure on the heliosphere than previously thought. On the other side of this boundary, the interstellar medium is nearly 30, 30,000 degrees Celsius, much hotter than expected. You might wonder how the Voyager probes survive such extreme temperatures. The answer lies in the nature of the plasma. It is so thin and diffuse that the actual temperature around the probes remains low. However, if highly charged particle streams occur more frequently or at higher densities, they could pose a threat to the probes. No one anticipated these extreme conditions in a region thought to be relatively empty. Given the sensational nature of these findings, scientists hope that Voyager 1 and 2 can continue sending data for as long as possible. It will take decades for any future interstellar missions to reach the point where the Voyager probes are today, 
and no current space probes are capable of sending data from the heliopause. NASA's New Horizons probe is moving through the solar system at more than 50,000 miles per hour. However, New Horizons is not nearly as well equipped with powerful batteries as the Voyager twins. When it runs out of power in the 2030s, the data stream will also stop. Therefore, all eyes remain on the Voyager mission, and engineers are doing everything they can to keep these two veteran spacecraft operational. A large part of the measurement equipment has already been switched off to save power. Currently, only the magnetometers and plasma meters remain active 24-7. Meanwhile, the data takes more than 20 hours to reach Earth and can only be captured by three extremely powerful antennas spread across the globe. Great concern erupted when Voyager 1 appeared to have completely lost its bearings. Was Voyager 1 being affected by unknown forces or what could be responsible for the disorientation? Interestingly, none of the probe's protection systems had been triggered, suggesting it wasn't an external threat. But then, what could have disrupted the telemetry data? The only way to find out was through extensive troubleshooting. List after list of potential factors were examined. NASA's research team checked all the systems of the 40-year-old spacecraft. Old blueprints were dug up for the first time since the spacecraft's launch, and there was near panic at NASA for days. Losing Voyager 1 at this critical stage of its mission would have been disastrous. All possibilities were considered including the effects of cosmic rays on electronic components and the possibility of temperature fluctuations affecting the stability of sensitive instruments. The team scrutinized communication systems, trying to rule out potential signal interference from cosmic noise or other disruptive factors. The search took weeks. After months of receiving jammed data, scientists and engineers were able to reestablish clear communications with the probe. So, what had happened? The official report traced the issue back to Voyager 1's attitude control system, specifically a defect in an onboard computer that had been inactive for years but had somehow unexpectedly powered on. Once the source of the problem was identified, engineers quickly devised a solution. They sent a signal to Voyager 1 to leave the faulty system and switch to the correct computer. With radio waves taking nearly 22 hours for a round trip, the recovery process required extreme coordination and, most importantly, patience. Although NASA stands by this explanation, some independent scientists suggest that the malfunction was caused by an unknown force. They compared Voyager's data from the zone it was in and noted that, according to NASA, there shouldn't have been much happening in that area, no turbulence or unusual occurrences. However, hadn't researchers already learned from previous data at the transition to interstellar space that their assumptions about this zone's true nature were flawed? NASA is optimistic that the error has been permanently resolved. Voyager 1 will continue its journey and send data well into the 2030s. Nevertheless, many mysteries remain, and not all scientists agree on how to interpret the disturbing measurement data. To unravel the secrets of our solar system structure, we need a better understanding of the heliosphere. Astronomers and cosmologists want to know more about how our solar system moves through the galaxy and space. The fantastic new measurement data reveal that there is still so much we don't know. That's why another interstellar probe is planned to launch soon. This new mission will last at least 50 years, spanning several generations, to explore the outer regions of the solar system and venture into uncharted realms beyond the heliosphere. Today's explorers will initiate this mission, and their children or grandchildren will continue the work started in these early days, weeks, and years with a probe designed specifically for interstellar travel. NASA plans to launch this mission within the next decade. By the time the new probe is ready to cross the outer boundaries of the solar system, the Voyager probes will no longer be operational. Their power supplies will eventually be exhausted. However, both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 will continue their journey into the unknown. By the time we lose radio contact with the probes, they will have traveled thousands of kilometers deeper into interstellar space. Even though we won't hear from them anymore, we can be certain that both probes will continue their voyage beyond the stars. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. 
don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.